the piety held by your mother, and showed disdain for your father's wrong beliefs. Then did you receive the gift of divine radiance from the munificent word of God, the deep abyss of illumination, and the giver of light. By his divine foreknowledge he foresaw the resplendence that you were displayed to all by your godly behavior, O most wise Pantelemo. For, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. He shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. You have received grace divine for working healings. Once you gave priority to truth and godliness, and you adopted the piety held by your mother, and showed disdain for your father's wrong beliefs. Then did you receive the gift of divine radiance from the, from the munificent word of God, the deep abyss of illumination and the giver of light. By his divine foreknowledge you foresaw the resplendence that you would display to all by your godly behavior, O most wise Pantelemon. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you people. You ever draw up the grace of divine healing, like water abundantly from immaterial wells of salvation, a blessed saint. And then you freely distribute cures to all those who come to you. Now will you illumine with divine and holy grace all those who loyally celebrate your holy sacred luminous glorious festival today, showing them mercy as your name denotes and the kindness that imitates God himself and entreat him to grant this to the faithful now extolling you. For his mercy rules over us and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You ever draw up the grace of divine healing like water abundantly from immaterial wells of salvation, all blessed saint, and then you freely distribute cures to all those who come to you. Now will you illumine with divine and holy grace all those who loyally celebrate your holy, sacred, luminous, glorious festival today, showing them mercy as your name denotes and the kindness that imitates God himself, and entreat him to grant this to the faithful now extolling you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the solemn memory of the Holy and 
who will declare these things or tell us things from the beginning. Let them bring forth their witnesses and be proven right, and let them speak the truth. You are my witnesses, and I am a witness, says the Lord God, and my servant whom I chose, that you may know and believe and understand that I am he. Before me there was no other God, nor shall there be after me. I am God, and besides me there is no one who saves. I proclaimed and I saved. I denounced foreign gods, so there were none among you. You are my witnesses, and I am a witness, says the Lord God. Even from the beginning there is no one who can deliver out of my hands. I will work, and who will reverse it? Thus says the Lord God, who redeems you, the Holy One of Israel. The readings from the Wisdom of Solomon. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torture will ever touch them. In the eyes of the undiscerning they seem to have died. And their departure was considered to be misfortune, and their passage from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in man's view they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Though chastened in a few things, great kindness will be shown them, for God tested them and found them worthy of himself. He tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a whole burnt offering. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and they will run about like sparks through straw. They will judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall reign over them unto the ages. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful shall continue with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect. And he watches over his holy ones. The reading is from the Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom must be attentive. The righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord. And their care is by the Most High. Therefore they shall receive a kingly dwelling of dignity and a crown of beauty from the hand of the Lord. Because he will shelter them with his right hand and protect them with his arm. He will take his zeal as his full armor and will return his creation into weapons against his enemies. He will wear righteousness as a breastplate and put on impartial judgment as a helmet. He will take holiness as an unconquerable shield and sharpen his relentless wrath for a sword. And creation will fight with him against the senseless. Well aimed flashes of lightning will strike and leap to their object as from a well drawn bow of clouds. And hailstones full of anger will be hurled as from an engine of war. The water of the sea will be vexed with them, and the rivers will wash over them severely. A powerful wind will oppose them, and like a storm it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste all the earth, and wrongdoing will overturn the thrones of rulers. Listen, therefore, O kings, and understand. Learn, O judges, of the ends of the earth. Give ear, you that rule over multitudes, and take pride in yourself over a multitude of nations. For power was given to you from the Lord. And your Lordship, from the Most High. Bless the Lord, so Lord, I bless thee. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Oh, uh-huh. 
Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> you cherish your mother's Christian faith and corrected your father's wrong beliefs. You were enrolled by the physician of souls, and you trained in the art of medicine. By grace of your servants and rescue us from all necessity and affliction. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to bring my attention to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people is for I am. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, of sins. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Holy man, O martyr and healer, Saint Pantelemon, make intercession to our merciful God, that he grant our souls forgiveness of offenses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Virgin Theotokos, we sing hymns extolling you, through whom came humanity salvation. For your Son and our God, who is benevolent, accepted the passion and the crucifixion. <coughs> In the flesh that he assumed from you, and thus from destruction he rescued us. Together with the Holy Church of Christ, the Holy Apostles, and this city to the ages of Amen. 
More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraph of you without corruption. Gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Glory to Christ our God, the whole glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable Bible stars of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, Saint Andrew, the first called of the apostles, the heavenly patron of this chapel, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Emma, and of the holy and glorious great martyr and healer Pantaleon, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and merciful. Now let us pray. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. This is the Synaxarium for St. Catalina, who we celebrate the giving this evening. This saint lived during the reign of Emperor Maximian and was from the city of Nicomedia. He was the son of a Greek pagan named Evstorius, while his mother came from a family of Christians, and her name was Ebula. He went on to learn medicine for the body from someone named Ephrosios, who had great fame and glory, and appears to have reached the pinnacle of medicine. Meanwhile, he learned his medicine of the soul, according to Christ, from St. Hermaleos, a priest of the church in Nicomedia and is commemorated on the 26th of this month. Through his medicine, according to Christ, the saint raised a child who was by, by, bit by a viper and lay dead, merely by the saint calling upon the name of Christ. He was baptized and aforementioned Saint Hermeleos and was then led by him to faith in Christ. His martyrdom took place in the following manner. A blind man went to the saint and was healed. When this man was questioned by the emperor, who healed you? He responded that it was Pandaleon, which was his original name, for he called upon the name of Christ. He also added that he believed in Christ. Hence the emperor immediately ordered for the blind man to be beheaded, and inquiring after Pantaleon, he was found and brought before the emperor. Because the saint neither, fla neither flatteries nor threats were able to be persuaded but to deny his faith in Christ. For this reason he was harshly beaten burnt with lit lamps. The Lord appeared to him in the form of Hermeleos the priest, and told him to have courage. And when the saint was placed in a heated lead, and was cast into the sea, again the Lord appeared to him, and said that he was also put in, put in these with Hermeleos, which is why he remained unharmed from all his torments. He was then handed over to be fed to the beasts, but was also kept unharmed from them. Then he was tied to a wheel, nailed with sharp knives, was thrown off a high place to roll down hill. After all these things, the saint was sentenced to death. Wherefore he prayed and having completed his prayer, a divine voice came, which changed his name from Pantaleon to Pantaleon. When the saint was brought forward to be beheaded, the executioner laid out his hand to strike it with a sword, and immediately melted like wax. When the soldiers saw this wonder, they believed in Christ. Then the saint willingly bent his head and was beheaded. It is said that instead of blood, milk gushed forth from his neck, and that the olive tree on which the saint was tied, but had previously dried up, immediately brought forth fruit. His sin access and feast is celebrated in the church that bears his name. To the prayers of our holy fathers, to the prayers of St. Michael, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. The Holy Trinity grant you protection this evening and forevermore. Our next service will be. At 9 o'clock, we'll be here in the chapel. Back here in the chapel tomorrow at 9 a.m., followed by, uh, by liturgy at 10. Okay, bless you.